Yeah, 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 we've heard enough. <sighs> Hi guys. It is an absolutely gorgeous starlit fall night here in the end times as I wind down my latest sojourn to the Redwoods Forest of the Santa Cruz Mountains in California. I guess my second to the last night with Minnie Mouse here tonight is Wednesday night, November 4th, 2015. And, uh, just going through the mainstream media and looking at the top 100 stories on the planet today on November 4, 2015, and I was trying to, you know, whittle them down to the top 10 Humpty Dumpty tribe end times stories to make a rant, but I ended up with 11 stories, and I'm trying to figure out which story to edit out, and I almost made the mistake of editing this story out and putting it in the clueless moron roundup rant, which I probably won't be bringing to you on Saturday since I'm going to be on the road back to Texas. But anyway, <clears throat> but the more I thought about it, I, I don't know whether this story belongs in, uh, belongs in the Clueless Moron Roundup rant or not because I don't have all the facts. But it sure as hell is one of the top 100 stories on the planet and it does come from nowhere else could you find this story except from the great state of Texas where I am heading back and uh, if you're from the state of Texas You'll have absolutely no problem with this little pop quiz. We're going to have a pop quiz on Humpty Dumpty Tribe. I'm going to read you this headline out of Texas. And I'm going to leave out the last word of the headline. And then you are going to fill in the blank. Anybody from Texas... And hell, probably from Georgia, Alabama, Mississippi, uh, would have no problem filling in this. I, I ran this past someone from Santa Cruz, California. They had no clue. Talk about a clueless moron. No clue how to fill in this no shit Sherlock uh, headline from the mainstream media, <clears throat> from the great state, from the Lone Star State. Texas man is fatally, fatally stabbed. Texas man is fatally stabbed after taking the last piece of blank. Think about it, guys. Texas man is fatally stabbed after taking the last piece of blank. Uh, my California friend, no clue. Uh, anybody from Texas already knows the answer. Obviously, no shit Sherlock. Drum roll, please. The last piece of chicken. Texas man is fatally stabbed after taking the last piece of chicken. Anybody from Texas or pretty much anywhere in the South knows exactly what this story, this no shit Sherlock headline is about. Uh, you don't take the last piece of chicken. You just don't do it. There's just some things in Texas you do not do. <laughs> we, we, could have, we, we could have a, I could make a whole rant of things you do not do in the state of Texas, but uh, wherever that rant would go, at the top of the list, you do not take the last piece of chicken. There, 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 is, there is one way 
you get a pass. And I, and I can't believe I'm even saying, I mean, if you're from Texas, there's absolutely nothing in this, uh, in this little video that's going to be news to you. But for you people not uh, blessed with being born in Texas or Georgia or Alabama or Mississippi, who don't, who don't understand uh, the law of the land, uh, there, 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 there is one way that it is okay to take the last piece of chicken. And that is, <clears throat> if you arrive late to a party and you have had no chicken, and you walk into a, to a barbecue or a fried chicken hoedown or picnic or whatever, and you walk in late to the party, which is another thing you never do in Texas, is you never show up to the barbecue late. You, you, you damn fool. What the hell are you doing showing up late to a barbecue in Texas? And you better have some goddamn dessert with you, you cheap bastard. Do you have some peach cobbler with you? Do you have some moon pies? If not, turn your cheap ass around and go back to the store and get some dessert to share with your buddies. But anyway, if, if, if you arrive late to a barbecue and you have had no chicken, and you walk into a room full or a yard full of people, and there is one piece of chicken left on the plate, you can assume, you can make the natural assumption that everybody there before you has already had a piece of chicken. That's a safe assumption to make and then and only then are you allowed to take the last piece of chicken. And even then you're going to be, you're going to see people looking at you from across the room or across the yard and they're going to be going, did Billy Bob, is he double dipping on the chicken? Is that his first or second piece of chicken? And uh, so it's quite clear that is the only that's the only time you're allowed to pass. It, it, otherwise, and under there, there is no other circumstance where you're allowed to take the last piece of chicken. Well, I guess I mean if if there's an even number of if, if the number of people there at the barbecue or the picnic exactly equal the number of pieces of chicken, then I guess someone has to take, quote, the last piece, but you know what I'm saying is evenly divided. That doesn't quite count what we're talking here. If there's 12 people and there's 12 pieces of chicken, obviously, you know what I'm saying, someone is going to be number 12, but, 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 you, but you, you understand what we're talking about here is you never, never be so gauche in Texas to actually take a second piece of chicken if there is any chance anywhere that anybody in the room hasn't had their second piece of chicken or, uh, or there's a chance that someone is going to arrive late. You know, this is the first question on a Texas IQ test. There are 12 people at a barbecue, and there are 13 pieces of chicken. How many pieces of chicken are left on the plate after everybody has eaten? The answer on the Texas IQ test that any moron knows is one. You know? Now, we're not going to get into the subtlety if there's 12 people and there's 14 pieces of chicken available. Uh, you know, now we start cutting hairs about, okay, there's 12 people and 14 pieces of chicken. Uh, someone, do you leave two pieces of chicken? You know, your grandmother gets, the, gets to have two pieces of chicken. But that's not what this story is about. Anyway, 
I, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna read this story here, and uh, and, and go through it uh, for people not from Texas, not understanding this. We're gonna go through the story, and and, and poke some holes in it because there's some unanswered questions whether this guy should go to the goddamn electric chair or not. Well, what do you mean? He's already been stabbed to death. Okay, well, what, I guess he's not going... I guess he's not going to get fried like a piece of chicken in the Huntsville electric chair. And don't get me going on this. As I've, as I've been many rants, we need more. We need more capital punishment uh, on this planet than, than we have. We don't have nearly enough capital punishment. I'm not going to get into a capital punishment rant. This man is already dead. He took the last piece of chicken and he, and, and he died for that, for, for that decision. And it is up to now, I'm going to pretend like I'm on a jury of, of, my, of my Texas peers to decide whether the guy who killed this greedy son of a bitch should go free or not. Do we fry him like a piece of chicken? Or do we let the man go free? Was it a justifiable homicide? And the problem is there's not enough information in this story. There's some missing pieces of information. But anyway, here's the story. And this was actually not some honkies, but I guess some uh, some Mexican guys. I, I guess they, I don't know if they're, how many generations they've been living in Texas. Anyway, we won't get into an illegal alien rant here. <clears throat> but they've obviously learned the customs of Texas. All right. A Texas man was fatally stabbed when an argument over a piece of chicken got out of control. This is Reynaldo Cardoso Rivera, age 38, from Houston, Texas, has been charged with the murder of Perez Gonzalez, 34, also from Houston. Okay, so Reynaldo killed Perez over cause Perez Gonzalez took the last piece of chicken and Reynaldo Rivera decided it was time to kill the son of a bitch and now it's time for us to decide whether this was a justifiable homicide. All right, so now pretend like you're sitting in the courtroom and, and already we have trouble brewing. Five men, you notice there, there's no women on them. That's the first thing, there's no women to, so already you got a problem. You got five men in Texas with no girls around. Five men had been making dinner and drinking. Oh boy, guys. <laughs> five men cooking chicken and drinking. This is not shaping up well already. Already, we see trouble brewing in Houston, Texas. Five men, no women, one chicken, and probably three cases of beer and a couple of bottles of tequila. In an apartment in the western area of Houston, but dinner turned deadly. Turned deadly after... Gonzalez took the last piece of chicken. And I'm going to come back to this because this is what it, this is what the whole trial hinges on from now on out. So the row over the last piece of chicken first escalated into a fist fight which ended up spilling out into the parking lot of the apartment complex, according to police. <clears throat> Rivera then allegedly stabbed Gonzalez for taking the last piece of chicken before running away from the scene with a knife. Gonzalez died at the scene. 
So I guess Rivera later returned to the scene of the crime and police say he admitted them to them that he had stabbed Gonzalez, where at which point Rivera was promptly arrested and charged with murder and is presently being held in the Harris County Jail on $200,000 bond. Okay, there you go. This is all the facts that the mainstream media is giving us. So the question is, I guess there's two questions. Did Gonzalez deserve to die for taking the last piece of chicken? And uh, should Rivera be fried in the electric chair like a piece of chicken or set free because it was a justifiable homicide? Obviously, the question hinges entirely on how many pieces of chicken were there. We know there were five men. Okay. We know there were five men, assuming there was one chicken. Now, when I make a chicken, here's how I do it. Two legs, two thighs, two wings, and then I cut the breast into two pieces of chicken. So there were eight pieces of chicken. But you kind of have to give the two wings to count them as one piece. So it sounds to me like there, there should have been enough chicken to go around. But I wasn't there. So I mean, this could, there, but so I don't know. Were there seven or eight pieces of chicken? Was it a whole chicken? It doesn't say. All, that, all it says is, is they were making dinner. These five men getting all liquored up. Uh, there were no women around uh, to keep the tempers uh, chilled and a bunch of these hot-headed Mexicans, uh, you know, uh, make, making, making their chicken dinner. And so it all hinges on how many pieces of chicken were there. Okay, guys, there were five men. All right. Uh, let's just assume for the sake of argument that there were only five four pieces of chicken and five men. Then I guess what's fair is obviously the guy who bought the chicken gets one piece. The guy who did most of the cooking should get one piece. The guy washing the dishes should get one piece. And then the other two guys should draw straws for the fourth piece of chicken. Now, if there were five pieces of chicken, you, you know, then clearly everybody should have had a piece of chicken. Now, if, it, if there were more than five pieces of chicken and everybody, everybody had one piece of chicken and Gonzales took a second piece of chicken and Rivera killed him, if his crime was that Rivera had a piece of chicken, but Gonzalez had a piece of chicken and took, and, and so there were six pieces of chicken and five men, and Gonzalez just took it upon himself to eat the last piece of chicken. Well, I, you, you, you know, did he deserve to die for that? Maybe not. Uh, so we're just going to send Rivera to life in prison uh, for killing him over that. But he, but he certainly doesn't deserve to die. But, uh, but guys, it, 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 it's quite plain. If the facts of the matter, and, and I think I, I think anybody from Texas uh, or Georgia or Alabama or Mississippi will agree with me on this point. I, I'm just I'm just assuming here that okay, if there were 
if it turns out in, in the court case that there were indeed five pieces of chicken and five men and three of the guys, probably Garcia, Hernandez, and uh, Gar let's see, who do we have? Perez and Rivera. So probably Mr. Garcia, Mr. Her Hernandez, and Mr. Juarez. Uh, let's say they're, they're fine. They had their one piece of chicken. And then it was between Gonzalez and Rivera and, and, and that son of a bitch, Gonzalez, ate two pieces of chicken and Senor Rivera got none. If that's what it was about, if that is what it was about, that, uh, that, that this goddamn Gonzalez character ate his piece of chicken and before Senor Rivera could get his rightful piece of chicken, that Mr. Gonzalez went in there, uh, the little kleptomaniac, went in there and took Rivera's last piece of chicken, then, then hell yes, uh, Senor Rivera it should be a hero in Texas for taking out the little maggot. You know, he deserved to die. You know, you don't do it. Take somebody's piece of chicken, for God's sake. You just don't do it. Uh, and if that's the way it turns out, uh, I, I, I just rest assured that any jury uh, of, of this man's peers will let him go free. Because we don't need any chicken thieves in the state of Texas any more than we need horse thieves. But anyway, uh, I just had to get this off my chest and it, it remains to be seen whether this belongs in the clueless moron roundup round or not, but I don't think it does. But it sure as hell uh, does belong in the top 100 stories on the planet and I hope you learned something here today. If you ever go to Texas, you goddamn Yankee, and you think that you're going to walk into the state of Texas or Georgia or Alabama or Mississippi and, and set your fat ass carpet bagging Yankee ass down there and just reach over and think you are going to take the last piece of chicken. Let this story, let this story be a lesson to you, buddy. And with that, me and Minnie Mouse might or might not come back with the uh, 10 other stories I have to talk about, but that was the most important one. So what do you say, Minnie? Perhaps for the last time,